again. Thank you for joining us on another Way of Wisdom. And we are in Proverbs chapter 6 again today. And we return back to some familiar themes. Uh, one, keeping the Word of God before us, but also warnings about the sin of adultery. And in these passages, Proverbs chapter 5, Proverbs chapter 6 and 7, are some of the strongest warnings in Scripture against this sin or about this sin. Let me read for you, beginning with verse 16. There's a few things we want to clear up first to just generalize things. But in verse 16, he says, These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift and running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. Now, again, this is a very strong warning. It says the Lord, these things are an abomination to the Lord. He says six things. No, seven things are an abomination to the Lord. And it's interesting what some of them are. And so as we look at these today, let's just be real open before God and say, Lord, cleanse my heart. I don't want any of those in my life. I want only that which is well-pleasing to you in my life. Well, notice the first is a proud look. The Lord opposes the proud. That's why Lucifer fell. More than any other virtue, I think all things are, are hinged in some way or another upon humility. Pride causes God to actually work against you. 1 Peter 5, God opposes the proud. James 4 tells us the same thing. But he gives more grace to the humble. And so say, Lord, I don't want a proud look. I don't, I don't want to look upon people as if I'm better than they are. Uh, a proud look. Pride comes before a haughty spirit and a haughty spirit before a fall. And then a lying tongue. Uh, just that habitual saying what isn't true. Big lies, little lies. God wants truth to flow out of our mouths. Uh, hands that shed innocent blood. Well, that one is pretty easy to understand. He doesn't want you to go around shedding innocent blood, hurting people, even killing people. And, and think of the violence that we see in our land. What that must grieve the heart of God. All the shedding of blood. And, and even through abortion, how much more innocent can you be than uh, an unborn child? And so God says, these things are abominations to me. Pride and, and lying and shedding of innocent blood. Verse 18, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift to running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies. Well, that kind of goes along with a lying tongue, a false witness that speaks lies. People who are always gravitating toward evil. But here in the church, look at this last one. Look at what God says about this last one. A false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among the brethren. God is pleased when we dwell together in unity. God is pleased when we love one another, forgive one another, accept one another. But God says it is an abomination when you sow seeds of division, of discord amongst my family, among the brethren. The brethren. So let us always do that which edifies. Let us always speak that which is of grace and builds up. Let us guard our hearts from some of these, we would call, you know, they talk about the deadly sins, but I think it all begins with this pride. And it ends in sowing of discord. And there's many in between that we need to guard our hearts from. So Lord, purify our hearts today. Again, we go back to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the issues of life. But if you seek the Lord today, He'll cleanse your heart. If you love the Lord and follow the Lord, the Spirit of God will continually renew your heart. As you renew your mind with the Word, the Spirit can renew your heart. And you won't have to worry about these things in your life. Just let the Lord do His work through His Word and through His Spirit. Will you give Him your heart today and say, Lord, if there even be a tiny seed of any one of these in my heart, would you root it out right now that I might walk in your wisdom? And a part of wisdom is the peaceable fruit of righteousness. So let's pray. Lord, thank you that you want to cleanse our heart. You want to change our heart. You want to purify our heart. So Lord, don't let these six, seven things be in our heart or in our lives, that we would live a life that is truly pleasing to you and walk in the way of wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.